Hello everybody, welcome to Natty's Home Cooking. Today we are going to be making homemade croissants. Um, right now I am rolling out two tablespoons or two blocks of butter um, and I just use Blue Bonnet so I'm doing two of the sticks of butter, rolling those out really well as thin as I can, making sure it's nice and like square and then I'm going to cover this up and I'm going to put it in my deep freeze and let it cool for about 20 minutes. Okay, so once I do that, um, I remember only two sticks of butter. Now I'm going to be adding in one and a half cups of milk and then one cup of water and then I'm going to add in my half a cup of sugar. I'm going to mix that up really well. And then once those, that's all mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and add in a tablespoon tablespoon of fast acting yeast. You can use instant yeast as well, but I'm using fast acting. And then once I get that in there, I'm going to go ahead and mix it up really well. And, um, and I think I did a tablespoon and a half, just a little bit, but go ahead and mix that. And once you get that all mixed up, we're going to go ahead and finish up adding the rest of the stuff here. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and add in our five and three fourths cups of flour. And then once you guys get this flour added, we're going to go ahead and mix it up a little bit before we add into this, add in the salt and the butter. So um, once we get that added, we'll go ahead and mix it. I always use wooden spoon. I never like to use um, metal just because of the yeast. I try to be more delicate with that yeast and I know a lot of people are like, that is stupid, but it is not. I like to do it this way. It works so much better with the wooden spoon or a spatula is fine as well. Okay, so once we get this all mixed up really well, we're going to add in one and a half to two teaspoons of salt. Okay, so go ahead and mix that in there. I do a little bit more um, and I add the butter. So for the butter, um, I just use like one and a half tablespoons of butter. That's it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and mix that in there really, really well. Okay guys, so for me it's still a little too sticky. So I am going to add a little bit more um, flour to this um, just because I can't really work with it when it's sticky like this. So there's, there's just no way of rolling it or anything like that. So you don't want it too sticky. And I'm going to have to really kind of work with this dough a little bit to get it to where it goes into a ball um, form. So just keep working with it. Don't give up. Now it's starting to come around. You can see it forming into the ball. And the way that it feels, it feels amazing. So. I like how it feels. It's still a little sticky, but um, we're going to still, you know, continue to work on with this and then get it rolled out so that we can add that slab of butter on there. All right, guys. So before we roll this out, we're going to let this dough sit and double in size. So I went in, I'm going to go ahead and um, kind of put a little bit of a uh, little bit of butter in here wipe it down a little bit. You don't want to cake it. Okay. So, you know, I have a little bit too much in here. I will have to wipe it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to put my dough in here and I'm going to set it in there and I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to let it rest. I'm going to add a towel over it and let it rest for about an hour and a half. Um, so it doubles in size. Okay. Um, and just to let you know that make sure you have some time on your hands to make this bread because you will be doing a lot of folding on this dough with the butter. So just to let you know, you know, just make some preparations for that day before you um, start making your bread. Okay. All right, now that it has doubled in size, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out of the bowl and we're going to roll it out and then make like make like a big rectangle so that we can add that slab of butter to it. Okay. All 
all right guys so now that we get this um like uh put out a, like a rectangle we're gonna go ahead and get that butter and you see it's frozen right now so i can just peel it off be careful not to break it um, just take it out of the the parchment paper here you see how thin it is that butter is not thick thick it's just a little thin slice of butter and what we're going to do is we're just going to package it into this dough just like so like you would um, when you make a, a do a present just kind of do it that way wrap it up mine's not perfect i'm okay with it because it still comes out beautiful some people are really really great at folding and all that but me i'm I'm not <laughs> and I'm just being honest with you so I just kind of go with the flow I love making this bread I do I love it my family loves it and it will get kind of sticky if it starts getting sticky make sure to just add a little bit of flour to it so it doesn't stick to your rolling pin and just brush it on there there you go like just like that All right, once we get all this bu uh, butter br broken down in the dough, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and our, do our full, first fold. So make sure it's all nice and um, rolled out here into like a rectangle. And we're just gonna do one fold and then the other fold. And in me personally, a lot of people just leave it like that. I don't, I, fold, I do another like half fold. Um, the more folds that you have, the more folds that you do, for croissants, the more crispier and beautiful layers you're going to have with that bread. Um, so I do about probably about five, I think five folds all together. Um, so like I said, the more that you have, the better. And you're going to have to let it rest in between. Okay, so after I get this rolled out again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Um, fold it one more time and then I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it rest for an hour and then I'm going to bring it back out again and do the exact same repeat so like I said I always start early in the morning with this dough um, and do this all day until this that evening and then I start baking my bread so I do about five to six folds all together okay all right, guys, so um, I'm going to let you guys continue on and keep doing those folds, okay? And then we're going to let this sit for an hour um, now that I've got it, my second fold onto this. Okay, now that we got it folded, let's go ahead and cover it. And we're going to place it in the refrigerator for one hour. And then we'll bring it back out and now that i've let it set for an hour um, i'm going to go ahead and get started again rolling this out and do another fold so right now my dough looks wonderful it's got like little bubbles to it and everything means it's it's doing its job um, so we're just going to keep rolling it out and we're going to do more folds to this and we're just going to keep repeating for another three to four times okay so yes we do have a lot to do so
guys so here is my bread after six folds all together you can see the different layers that we've already created which is actually pretty good one of these doughs I'm gonna set to the side because I'm not gonna use it I'm gonna save it for later because I'm gonna end up doing more folds for it but right now we're just gonna go ahead and get started on this one I'm gonna make I'm um, cherry turnovers so I'm gonna use this one I have a lot of layers but my next one's gonna be more because I'm adding it for our um, croissants for croissant sandwiches all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll this out and we want to make like a rectangle like a square um, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna make triangles so that we can roll these um, croissants up but like I said this one here I'm actually instead of just making plain croissants I'm actually making cherry croissants <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and do our triangles. Um, so, I mean, it, if they're not perfect, that's fine. Um, it, it's fine. Um, but my husband's trying to explain to me, um, you need to go this way. You need to go that way. So he's he's helping me out because he's like, you're, you're not making perfect uh, triangles. You don't have to make perfect triangles. It's fine. Um, and you will have a, like a little piece left over. Just put it to the side. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you cut a little sliver in the edge, which I'll show you here in just a second. You can't see it because it's down below the bottom. So one second. So just like that, you want to make a, like a little uh, cut right there because it helps for when you go to roll them up. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and add our cherry pie filling. Um, I did doctor this up a little bit just so it won't be just plain cherry pie filling and I just added way too much right there which I realized what I just did but I'm just gonna go ahead and go with it I made a little bit of a mess but it still comes out perfectly um, so let me clean this up okay I hate a messy kitchen oh my gosh I hate it it bothers me so bad <laughs> anyway so we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more cherry pie filling to the next one I don't do as much because I've learned my lesson for the first one so just put a little dab right there and just smear it a little bit and then roll up there we go oh that's perfect all right guys so now we're just going to add some water and egg and we're going to beat that mix that up really really good and then we're gonna brush our bread with that mixture okay to give it that golden look golden um, crispy uh, texture at the top on the tops of them so that's why you do the egg and water so just go ahead and brush them with that and then once you get done with that you're gonna bake them in the oven at 375 until they're nice and golden brown all right guys look at that already wow don't they look beautiful they're rising so beautifully and this is what it looks like after so many folds i just kind of want to re-show you guys that so um enjoy your guys's croissants um and uh, if you want to continue on past six with those folds you go for it that's what i'm going to be doing with this next uh dough that i'm here i have here i'm going to just continue on folding and um setting it back into the refrigerator all right guys enjoy okay guys so now that they are done and out of the oven look how beautifully golden they are and look at that wow and this is the cherry turnovers that i had made they look absolutely absolutely amazing they just got out of the oven i'm setting them in the sun letting them cool down a little bit wow and these are great for when you have people over and you just want to have a, a hot tea and a croissant or even coffee and a croissant. They're great with for sandwiches, for breakfast. 
they are absolutely amazing um, I'm gonna tear one open for you so that you can, can see what it looks like um, inside but look at that isn't that pretty Wow just absolutely amazing all right guys there it looks there's what it looks like inside crispy soft and flaky amazing don't forget to like and subscribe and guys enjoy your croissants have a great night.